When you think royal family, you probably also think rich, rich, rich. But what if we told you that some royal families aren't very rich at all? At least not compared to the others. Some royal families have even faced financial hardships and the same types of money issues that you and I have. We're taking a look at the royal families that have had it rough in the finances department, and some of these are really surprising. However, they are still, of course, royalty, and have access to many luxuries that the average citizen doesn't. So without further ado, here's our list of the top 10 poorest royal families. We are starting our list with the House of Bernadotte, the Royal House of Sweden, which is led by King Carl XVI Gustav. He is the richest of the poor royals on our list today, with an estimated fortune of $62 million. The Swedish royal family's wealth comes from property and investments, as well as a stipend from the government. However, according to a 2020 report, they still had a lot of financial difficulty during COVID. This is because hardly any tourists came to visit the royal palace. In fact, the royal palace made around $8 million in 2020, and this fund directly goes to the royal family. The Swedish Ministry of Finance expressed worries that royal buildings would fall into disrepair if there was not enough money. Next on our list is the House of Dlamini, the royal house of the Kingdom of Eswatini or Swaziland, and it is led by the King of Swaziland, Mswati III, and he is the last absolute monarch, meaning he has complete control over his country in Africa. According to the Forbes report, his estimated net worth is $50 million based on the annual $50 million salary that he is paid out of government coffers. Even though he owns an investment company, it is held in trust for the Swaziland people, so King Maswati doesn't have access to it. Plus, with protests going on in his country due to pro-democracy activists, the king's fortune may not last long. In eighth, we have the House of Glücksburg, which is led by Queen Margaret II of Denmark, and she has an estimated net worth of $40 million. The Danish royal family's wealth comes from land holdings, shares in companies, and a private investment fund. They also receive a yearly stipend from the government, which is used to cover expenses related to their official duties, and comes to about $12 million a year. So, the Danish royal family is clearly living off government money too, with the average citizen having to donate $2.10 a year to their royals. Next, we have the House of Orange Nassau, and it is led by King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands, whose fortune is estimated to be around $35 million. King Willem Alexander spends a lot of time and energy being king. According to Business Insider, each year Willem Alexander gets about $40 million to cover his family's expenses. This budget covers the cost of overseas tours and official visits. However, in 2014, the budget stopped covering private flights. We don't think King Willem Alexander is too upset by this, because much of his wealth comes from his personal fortune, including real estate and a stake in Shell Oil. Next on our list is the House of Oldenburg from Norway. The Norwegian monarchy is led by King Harald V. The net worth of Norway's royal family currently stands at 30 million US dollars. The Norwegian royal family receives a fund of $48.7 million every year. Of that, $1.4 million went to the king and queen and $1.1 million to the crown prince and princess, and the rest for upkeep, which includes their personal security, and the expenses of the official royal house, among other things. Also, Norway's royal family is so modest that they dress just like regular citizens, even at big events. According to Norway Today, the Norwegian royal family is also known for taking public transport, using public beaches, and otherwise just acting and living as one of the commoners. Even Princess Ingrid and Prince Sveer attend public school rather than private school. The House of Belgium, which is led by King Philippe, is next, with an estimated net worth of around 12 million euros. The Belgian royal family's fortune mainly comes from the king's private property portfolio and some real estate that belongs to the crown. Also, the Belgian royal family received $14.6 million a year for their expenses. The biggest chunk of that, around $12.9 million, is used to cover the expense related to King Philippe's official duties. Those include staff, the maintenance costs of running the royal palace in Brussels, the king's workplace, and the castle of Laken, the family's official residence. Expenses such as utility bills, cars, and all costs related to official activities are also paid out of this pot. On top of that, the king, his parents, and his siblings, Prince Astrid and Prince Laurent, receive annual salaries. 
Prince Astrid received $356,080 and Prince Laurent $341,614. Fourth on our list is a small kingdom, the Kingdom of Tonga in the South Pacific, which is led by the House of Tongo. There, King Tupo VI and his Tonga royal family have just $5 million in net worth. This is not very surprising when you think about how poor the rest of Tonga is. One third of the people live below the poverty line. And this story is even crazier. According to Independent Magazine, King Tupo lost $26 million because of a man in California named Jesse Bogdanoff, who was his financial advisor and worked for Bank of America. But surprisingly, the king was okay with this horrible financial tragedy and made Mr. Bogdanoff the official court jester of Tonga. The House of Bourbon Anjo of Spain, which is led by King Philippe VI, who is one of the wealthiest royals in Europe, but compared to other royals, he comes out as poor. According to royal stats, his fortune is about 2.2 million euros, which is also the first time a Spanish monarch has disclosed how much money they have. Amazingly, the king doesn't actually own any property or land whatsoever, just a savings account, some antiques, and jewelry. That's about it. King Philippe also doesn't have a retirement pension plan, and part of his wages received as king must be taken out in order to pay his staff and other royal costs. Because of this, King Philippe and the royal family rely on government aid totaling $8.8 .8 million a year. The Asante Royal House is next on our list and it is led by King Otumfuo Osei Tutu II of Ashanti, Ghana. Otumfuo Osei Tutu II is the king of Ghana's gold-rich Ashanti kingdom, home to the kingdom's largest ethnic group, the Asantes. He ascended the throne in 1999. According to Forbes, the estimated net worth of the king is around $12 million, in which the king owns real estate in Ghana and South Africa, as well as a collection of valuable gold crown jewels. Apart from that, the king also owns a sales company named Transpamek Ghana, whose estimated worth is around $12 million. Te Wera, Wera Royal House, which is led by the Maori King Tuhesha, is the poorest royal on our list. His net worth is unknown, but he does not have or demand any of the riches or possessions of the typical king. In fact, he actually lives in a poverty-stricken area in New Zealand. According to the website People AI, he probably only has about $336,000. Not exactly poor to the average person, but in King World, he is. There was even a rumor that King Tuhesha had a leak in his home and couldn't afford to get it fixed. The Maori King tries to stay away from the cameras and instead focus on his people and their problems. So there you have it, the top 10 poorest royals in the world. Do you think it is unfair that some royals are so wealthy while others are not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.